Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome all participants for the session session of HTTP on Environment and Engineering for Global Sustainability, organized by Saraswati Institute of Technology. Now, our session is going to be held on the topic of recent trend, challenges, and future roadmap in public health engineering by our international speaker, Mr. Sachin Maske, sir, from Africa. It is my pleasure to introduce our honorable speaker, Mr. Sachin Maske, sir. Maske, sir, is a senior engineer in Water Resource Consultancy Limited in Botswana and have more than 15 years of experience in industry. He had completed his diploma from MSBT in Civil Engineering and was also awarded by Bachelor and Master's degree from RTE and VNIT Nagpur University. He has contributed his expertise and knowledge on projects like Nadiad Water Supply Project Gujarat, Brasom Storm Water Pumping Station, Design and Outdoors from Mumbai, Hagban Hill Reservoir reservoir at water booster station bong touch water treatment works uk utility infrastructure development of ring road jaipur storm water and flood management of Bhuj city project development and management consultancy for the area based development project for bhopal smart city consultancy services to prepare feasibility and detailed project report to address sewage and effluence pollution of the Mithi river consultancy services for the design, review, modification, and construction supervision for the Thamga water supply distribution network project in Botswana. He had attended several numbers of webinars and workshops. He is also a member of various professional bodies such as Project Management Institute, Institute of Engineers, and also life member of Indian Water Works Association and international member of American Water Works Society. Now, I would like to hand over this session to our honorable speaker, Mr. Sachin Maske, sir. Sir, you may continue with the session. Yeah, thanks for the introduction. Uh, very good, very warm. Good, good afternoon from the Botswana. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, and dear student. Uh, first, first, I would like to thank the uh, management of Saraswati Institute of Technology uh, for giving me the opportunity uh, to present as a guest speaker. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to present uh, uh, on the recent trends and challenges and future roadmap in public health engineer engineering uh, industry. So, so let us start on that. Uh, could you please uh, turn out on the next slide? Yeah, now these are the uh, like uh, as we study uh, uh, most of the, our respective professor uh, taught us various subject uh, starting from the building uh, maintenance subject to the structural engineer various subjects are uh, has been taught uh, on the various aspect like water environmental and things and those are the uh, very good foundation uh, built by our respective teachers and profession professor but uh, sometimes uh, we have to ask ourselves why we need uh, uh, why uh, why we uh, need to um, adapt recent trends uh, various modern technology various uh, other technology which has been not uh, taught in our syllabus engineering syllabus so here is the answer on that like uh, why this recent trends happened because of various product development various market niches various standards technologies economics uh, that can impact the project and sustainable strategies like i can understand like product development uh, for every engineering projects every engineering project is is it's it's a unique project so and for every uh, project your client uh, especially like public public client or government clients are the are vary and their uh, requirements are uh, different as per the, their policies and various guidelines so they need like uh, we, we different project development uh, strategy and other things Nowadays, like uh, various standards are changes, which is not uh, 
which is not uh, has been considered in the our engineering syllabus and obviously like uh, we cannot uh, consider the standards in our engineering syllabus <coughs> so that is the need of the uh, development of the recent trends like we have to uh, handhold our technology with the recent trends next slide please Now, uh, I just want to uh, cover the recent trends in public health engineering industry because I am from the public health engineering, uh, engineering, public health engineering industry. So I would like to cover uh, around uh, more than seven topics in the PHE industry. Uh, first one is the water, water and sanitation. In water and sanitation, we are going to uh, cover water supply trends, sewage collection trends, water treatment and sewage treatment. Also, uh, in the PHE industry, uh, we are dealing with the investigation, which include the geotechnical and topographical survey industry. Second part is solid waste management. Uh, yeah, there are a lot many uh, trends has been developed in the solid waste management nowadays. Fourth one is the construction management. Uh, yeah, there is there are a lot many trends uh, and and the uh, world of construction management has been has been and has uh, going to be changed uh, a lot. And third one is like a I just want to introduce the electromechanical changes which should be needed along with the civil engineering aspect. Next slide, please. Next slide. Yeah. Now, uh, these are the recent trends in water supply network design analysis. So, these are the uh, recent trends in the water supply network design analysis, which include the basic hydraulics. Like you can see in the slide, um, it is uh traveling from the like the curve curve traveling from the basics of hydraulics and up to the future industry like it's, it started from the basics of hydraulics like previous like in olden days from the 1982 or somewhere 1990 we we did uh, we did uh, used to uh, we used to design the water supply network by means of various uh, formula based equation, various empirical formula, which include the modified hazard William uh, equation, conservation mass equation, conservation of energy equation, methods of balancing heads like that. These are the still uh, current software, like uh, future softwares are, um, are based on these formulas, but as per the client development, as per the strategy development, they just change their the way of presentation in the in the modeling software. On the basis of this formula, we used to uh, design water supply network uh, by the manual in the Excel sheets. Then, <clears throat> after that, uh, some softwares available in the public domain software like, like US Epanet, um, Jal Tantra, Loop, Branch. These are the software uh, used for the water supply network on the like uh, on the free in the free domain. You can download from website and you can use for your uh, uh, for your uh, water supply design, which is not uh, obviously is not used for the commercial use. And then various commercial softwares available like uh, you must be heard about the water, uh, Bentley Water Gems, Bentley Hammer, Bentley Sewer Gems and various Innovis water software, which is commercially available <coughs> for the water supply networks. Apart from this, various software uh, which are available, which is based on the GIS, uh, GIS integration. Uh, they are known as Mike Urban ArcGIS, and and so on. Uh, all these software going to be changed as per the various requirement, various modern technology, and that 
but basics of hydraulics uh, uh, will will remain same uh, for the all the softwares water supply so this is about the water supply network trends next slide please uh, this is just like a timeline distribution system of modeling how it's yeah can you go to the presentation more yeah fine so these slides uh, just talking about the timeline distribution of system of modeling how it's how it's uh, initiated and how uh, where are we now nowadays from 1930s like we used to use hardy cross network flow analysis of course this is the uh, manual uh, manual calculation we may normally used to do in the excel sheet then 1916 component analysis has been come then ongoing like up to 2006 various integrated modeling mapping database js which has been seen last uh, recently in the uh, in, in last slide and future is coming with the various multi-platform uh, models which has a critical analysis management integration of transparent js technology detailed water quality modeling uh, modeling software etc next please Now, this is about the trends in the water and wastewater industry. I would like to cover this uh, in nutshell because if I if I want to talk uh, on the various trend, uh, it will take uh, more than more than a, more than a week. So how it's vast. So just just for the concluding <laughs> uh, for the day or for two hours, I would like to just uh, complete this in the nutshell so these slides uh, talks about the various um, trends of the water and wastewater uh, combinedly like uh, <clears throat> if we start from the lakes okay so from lakes lake is lakes are the various surface water source and it is getting treated in the drinking water treatment plant and this is going towards the various township from the township after using consuming the potable water uh, it results in the uh, sewage collection uh, various sewage from the household and it will go to the wastewater treatment plant uh, for their treatment then after that uh, for treating uh, additional uh, uh, characteristics of sewage we used to uh, uh, use the sec secondary treatment wastewater plant and then again um, we uh, we treated as a advanced purification facility and recycled to the lakes so this is how the um, recent trends uh, comes uh, comes in the market in the PHE industry now this treatment works um, it has been done in the like one of the pilot uh, study of 10 mld capacity and tertiary water treated wastewater um, in the in the perogudi stp and uh, uh, nesapakkamang stp uh, in the south uh, uh, south uh, india uh, with they use the ultra filtration and ozonization for recharging the lakes at the Perugudi and Porur at at approximate cost of the 52.2 crores. Uh, this uh, this is the live uh, projects currently. Uh, currently, IIT Madras is working on that, and and it it was commenced on the 23 20, 29 September 2019, and probably they are going to complete by august 2022 this is one of the live example of the recent trend of uh, how how uh, water treatment and uh, wastewater treatment um, are going in hand in hand uh, to to recycle the water from uh, from the water treatment and 
recycle to the lakes so even like uh, if you interested you can visit this treatment plant during the construction so that you you will come to know various uh, component of water treatment plant various wastewater component of wastewater treatment plant when it is actual uh, uh, during the construction of the site so next this is one of the uh, one of the trends uh, used uh, in the sewage sewage treatment works normally um, uh, this is one of the anaerobic uh, treatment work of the sewage treatment plant and uh, they used to um, generate the biogas from the various digester and and they used uh, they used to <clears throat> generate various uh, biogas uh, from the various sewage treatment next slide these are the projects are currently working uh, work in progress in india which names like uh, like anjana uh, signapur karanj bhatar in the various part of the part of the india and installation capacity of the power plant is around uh, 0.5 uh, 0.5 megawatts and you can see the numbers how much uh, they are generating powers from this uh, sewage treatment plant so this is one of the good trends uh, nowadays um, in india they are work in progress next second trends uh, normally uh, this is one of the uh, uh, good trends uh, which is happen happening in india and uh, outside outside and outs, outside of the india big data application <clears throat> normally uh, uh, this by big data uh, application uh, previously it was used in the it industry in the 21st of century to generate the various uh, smart water solution smart solution like you might be heard about like uh, various it project uh, are dealing with the various customized customer so they need a lot many data and and based on that they they they, they prepared their uh, softwares and other things but this is uh, up to 21st century but even like uh, various public health engineers now uh, um, showing a big promise in many water related approaches how they are used like uh, the this big data application they use for the uh, planning of various optimum water systems for detection of the ecosystem changes forecasting predicting detecting natural management calamities scheduling of the irrigations uh, mitigation environmental pollutions studying climate change impacts i will give you one example here like various uh, for various water uh, treatment project or water distribution project or we can say uh, various wastewater generation project uh, water treatment project we used to predict <coughs> future flow which we call the uh, like water demand calculation for the uh, forecasting uh, forecasting normally uh, we forecasted population for the uh immediate year intermediate year and the ultimate year and all these systems uh, water and wastewater system has been designed uh, for the more than 50 years so we need to consider <clears throat> uh, future projection of the population so in future projection of population we normally use the big data applications now uh, next slide please now basically uh, these data are characteristics uh, based on the six v's which is classified as per the volume variety velocity veracity value and variability so volume uh, represent the amount of data from uh, various myriad sources means huge source of the information 
variety, uh, the types of data structures uh, which classify as the structured data, semi-structured data, unstructured data. Velocity uh, is the speed at which data is generated. Like this speed is uh, basically um, um, limited uh, as per the, your design study. Veracity represents the degree which data can be trusted. Sometimes we have to uh, think about the data, whether it is trust, trustful or trust, trustworthy, like that. Even like uh, value, the, the business value of the data collection, we have to think about that. And uh, another picture is like, it's representing just like a types of big data. Uh, Sometimes we get the structured data, Sometimes with the unstructured data, sometimes we get the semi-structured data. So this big data application is uh, very good trends. Nowadays, uh, we are using in the various live projects just for the gathering data. And based on that, like we generate our solution. Even like um, um, <clears throat> I can give you one example uh, regarding the e-commerce business. like. Uh, before uh, before uh, developing the application for the uber you must be heard about the uber so they studied this all the big data application they studied the population affected how many people are, are likely use the uber and other things so these all these e-commerce softwares are coming from these big data applications next slide please yeah this is one of the important uh, aspect um, in the water industry and uh, wastewater industry. Uh, carbon credit monitoring and process and mechanism. Uh, this is one of the trend <coughs> uh, normally used for the various uh, smart city and various uh, big projects, big government project, probably more than 50 MLD or more than the like, 25, uh, 25 lakh population projects like that. So, what is the what are the carbon credits? Carbon credits are the measurement of green gas emission reduction. Like one carbon credit is equivalent to one ton of CO2 emission. So, then uh, it is devised as a market oriented mechanism to reduce the greenhouse gas emission. Uh, it gives the certificates issued to entitled developing countries that reduce their GHG emission. You must be heard about this GHG emission. This is one of the uh, one of the latest trend uh, we used to talk about uh, in the current industry. Carbon credit is the tradable community uh, whose price is on date is around uh, five US dollar. One carbon uh, credit is gives you the five US dollar and can be earned by the organization like local bodies. As I uh, as I as I tell you, Lord, uh, told you lot right now, for local bodies, smart cities, cities, government department who are involved in the green, green gas project. What are the opportunity and benefits of this carbon credit? It gives the additional source of revenue with no additional capital investment. Like you can, like you must be heard about like this big project is a very uh, very high capital investment. So it is tried to reduce the uh, capital investment of the project by by earning the this additional revenue from the World Bank or other banks. It gives uh, carbon credits is proceed act as a carbon financing in into the project that contribute to emission reduction, which can be used to be reduce the net project cost. It might be <clears throat> source of earning foreign exchange, improve goodwill, international reputation for pursuing innovative initiative that contribute to clear plan, clear planet. Next slide, please. Mm, this is the uh, carbon clinic monitoring process mechanism. Uh, we can classify this whole mechanism under the 
forehead uh, one is the project owner role including selection validation registration process verification issuance process and trading process uh, for your information like second stage second stage is the validation of registration process so it includes uh, various industry <clears throat> various uh, approval agency uh, which is vcs verified carbon standard they are driven by the vcs board usa uh, gold standard driven by gs board switzerland gs vr gold standard driven by the switzerland so these are the uh, on the right on the right side of yours uh, right of right side of the slide these are the agency who approve the your carbon credits and these are the various flow chart we have to follow this uh, flow chart while delivering uh, during your project and then under the trading process they will approve your carbon credit and exchange give your exchange to the carbon credits next slide please now which are those which are those project we can earn the carbon credits in there like uh, in the projects of renewable energy projects like solar turbine mills small scale hydro projects energy efficiency project various transport project like metro rail bus rapid transport system electric vehicle various waste handling disposal plastic collection, industrial intervention, cattle management. So these are the list of the project in which you can earn the carbon credits. Next slide, please. Now, like every, uh, every trends has some disadvantage, like these are the some, uh, I can say cons of this uh, carbon credits, which is the barrier. Uh, for registration for these projects type of projects to for uh, approaching to VCS, uh, it's like a high project registration charge. Like you can see, ten thousand dollar we have to apply for the VCS. Somehow it is complex process flow uh, is there. Like and various uh, agency involved in this project. So. This type of carbon credits projects we can apply for the large project when we have the capacity to to deal with the such type of uh, complex project. Next slide, please. Yeah. Now I would like to take pause. Uh, is that any questions uh, up till now, or shall we move ahead? Uh, hello. Yes. So we can take the question answer session in at the last. Okay. Last. Okay. Uh -huh. no okay. So after the session. Okay. Okay. No okay. Thank you, sir. Now <clears throat> there are a lot many new trends happening in the pipeline. Whether it uh, whether it is for the water supply uh, pipeline or sewage collection pipeline not many trends are happening as per the various new standard various policies and various uh, type of clients like that so in pipeline application uh, this is one trend uh, in which they use the uh, horizontal direction drilling method nowadays like uh, in most part of the India, a uh, lot many infrastructure work uh, we can observe. And sometimes uh, it is just going to be hectic for us as a, as a citizen. Most of the time on the roadside, uh, they dig open trenches and there's, and they just created all the mess uh, on the road and it will uh, it will result in the diversion of traffic and the things. So high, horizontal directional drilling method, which will um, utilize for the for the stopping the solution of the open open trenches. Like what uh, in this process, 
what they used to do like uh, they dig some um, as you can see in the first picture they use some uh, guided boring machine and and on the other side of the reception uh, uh, on the road they use the reception pit and they drill some uh, pilot bore from uh, guided boring uh, machine to the reception pit uh, this type of application we uh, we use for the uh, pipe application under rivers channels uh, railways tracks major roads other roads. so that we cannot uh, we should not uh, disturb the actual flow of the uh, road and other things so all these pipelines uh, they laid uh, drilling uh, drilling pilot bore underground then in the next in the next picture you can see they with by means of the uh, drilling string they pull the pipeline uh, proposed pipeline from the underground trench so this is the technology normally uh, uh, nowadays they are using for the crossing the various roads railways tracks major roads even like you can see in india uh, on the major highway they proposing horizontal, horizontal directional drilling methods next yeah now this is the uh, one of the important trends uh, recent trends uh, i can um, propose even like we propose this uh, sewage collection interceptor sewer sewage collection network in 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 the state of raigad uh in the yeah in the state of sorry in the state of chatisgarh so what is this uh let me show you video uh could you please uh start that video yeah now as you see in the video uh, the objective of this type of interceptor sewer uh, which provide the mechanism to divert untreated wet waste water and pull treated storm water from open nala to the proposed sewage treatment plant like if you if you see in the video during the wet season during the rainy season when when the sewage sewage from the various nala and household Uh, which is not at that that much uh, concentrated and it is uh, diluted by means of the mixing of the rain water in that so in that case uh, this system sewer interceptor allows that sewage diluted sewage uh, transfer to the uh, nearby river whereas during the uh, dry season uh, we intercept that sewage we collected in the uh, sewer interceptor then we transfer uh, that sewage to the various treatment technology even like by by means of tertiary treatment when then we retreat we retreated that uh, 
sewage and allow to uh, transfer to the nearby river so this is a trend uh, which you observe um, in the sewage uh, collection network industry now these are these also like uh, live projects this this project you can see in the state of the uh, chhattisgarh so at three places we we have proposed this uh, project next slide next yeah now um, this is regarding the uh, trends in the geotechnical investigation uh, conventionally like we used to do a uh, geotechnical investigation by means of trial pits along the transmission main various uh, other method like uh, uh, stp and other things various uh, geotechnical uh, investigation uh, by means of uh, agwar and other things and then after that we transfer that sample to labs and we find out the liquidity limit plastic limit atterberg limit like that now <clears throat> ground penetration radar system uh, survey <clears throat> uh, normally uh, trend trending in this uh, nowadays in the phe industry the main objective of this survey is to determine the uh, depth of the bedrock secondary and secondary object is to map out the depth of the old sewage system as well as utility line like what we experienced during execution of the sewage project and water supply project we used to find out the um, lot many hard rocks and soft rocks uh, available be, be underground and based on that it will cost the project like depth of excavation and other things uh, will be cause uh, will be increased based on the availability rock and other things so this gpr uh, system is is just like a scanning tool for detecting varieties of underground objects gpr is the non invasive in electromechanic geophysical method that access the prioritized future work that could be explored through the more invasive means like coring sampling small archaeological probes and long term excavation next so what is happening here like how how does it work uh, gpr technique is high frequency electromagnetic wave uh, probably uh, it ranges from the 10 megahertz to the 2.6 megahertz and transmitted to the subsurface from the subsurface and it reflects like you can see in this figure like it it transmits an electro uh, electromagnetic waves and it will be rebound from the uh, underground surface surface and there are some equipments it it will uh, used to calculate reflection of heterogeneous uh, energy in the measured in the in the receiver which gives the interface depth layer thickness geometry of material description based on the characteristics of the detections so there is a way to find out the interference depth layer thickness and geometry material based on the what we received in the receivers next slide so these are some gpr results uh, these are the live uh, project results you can see the path of the gpr survey and in next uh, image you can see uh, layer 1 layer 2 layer 3 and this portion it's give the possible pipe uh, under the uh, underground 
other another possible pipes another pipe so this method is give the various profile in which you can easily find out the various underground uh, pipes and no need to excavate the uh, long trench for finding out that next this is another gpr results which showing culvert underlying beneath the ground possible pipes also next slide yeah now we are moving towards the solid waste management trends next slide now <clears throat> various conventional uh, systems still uh, we are using in the solid waste solid waste management industry in india but uh, even like outside the country and uh, like most of the smart city uh, in the india we are proposing uh, automated waste collection system now these systems uh, having two types like automated waste collection system uh, from the each household or buildings and it will transfer to the tankers by means of mobile vacuum units they call the mobile vacuum units second one um, is the same way but it transfer to uh, vacuum like a pipeline network like how we supply water or uh, we recollect the civil network it will be work like that so let's see the demo of this uh, automated uh, automatic uh, water collection waste collection system so could you please uh, on that video ma'am volume Now, this is the demo of automatic uh, waste collection. And this is from outside the India. Now, you can see uh, various township buildings. Uh, we are entering in the one of the flat. Now uh, you can see the duct in your kitchen and how they segregate that. These are the outside the flat on various uh, podium of the building. They are collecting dry recyclable. Uh, now these are the underground pipes. You can see uh, how they transfer the waste from each building with the underground duct. Now uh, this is the centralized location, uh, they are collecting the waste. Uh, they are just operating on that cylinders, collection bins. They are transferring through the trucks outside the building.
so in that way this they just uh, propose the automated waste collection system and these are some utility tunnel uh, which has been proposed in the smart city uh, bhopal smart city uh, to just uh, collect the waste water from the various household in the in the utility tunnel next now this is just comparison uh, of the conventional uh, waste collection system and automated waste collection system uh, like in terms of the i mentioned is the criteria uh, is that like truck accessing to building uh, for conventional system it is required for automated waste collection you don't require that diesel petrol requirement high for the conventional system automated waste collection not required uh, local air pollution high by means of awc uh, it is going to be nil visual aesthetics this is uh, one of the good point very bad like normally you can see uh, does been uh, surrounded by the your um, houseward uh, now this visual aesthetic is very good for this when you uh, adopt awc system hygiene condition is bad and for awc is totally hygienic cleaning requirement high now for awc is low impact on the road traffic average now here impact on the road average by means of awc it is totally near the main advantage of this aw systems are like accessible to the 24 hours a day 365 days a year now uh, if you like uh, sometime we affected by the like uh, by the affected by the various municipal uh, workers sometimes they will not come to collect your uh, wastages so it will be totally nullified it creates the cleaner attractive city residential and workplaces less noise and reduce air emissions due to the reduced transport needs and better working environment for the waste collectors next uh, this is another uh, trend in the wastewater uh, uh, solid waste management industry like conversion of the waste to the energy concept so Yeah, so various organic fraction of the waste is being treated in the organic waste composer and the output is a compost, is recording as a F, FCU standard. And another uh, waste, another treat, uh, treatment uh, technology, they use the plasma pyrolysis system. This works in the oxygen starved environment resulting in the fewer air, air emission. The cyanogas is produced by plasma, which can be utilized to boilers, gas turbines, and generate electricity. Next. Now, we are moving to the construction management industry in the PHE. Next. Yeah. So, these are the new trends in, happens in the construction management practice. Uh, one is the FEDIC and second is the project management by the PMP. Now, FEDIC is the like a international federation of consulting engineers who uh, advocate or suggested the various uh, tender clauses, uh, tender management documents throughout all the universe. And they standardize the uh, various uh, Tender documents for various uh, projects like design project, design build, operate project, and various uh, turnkey projects. Uh, they recommend their uh, their standards. And project management PMP is, by PMP is they recommend the various uh, project management practice, uh, recent trends in the project management in the construction management. Next. Now, when we're talking about the construction management practice, uh, this FEDIC is formed um, in 1913 uh, 
they have the headquarters in Geneva and they are representing around 1.5 billion of civil engineering professional in the one zero uh, around uh, 103 countries mission of this uh, fedic is uh, work closely with the stakeholders to improve the business climate in which members operate and enable them to contribute to making the world a better place to live in now in the future vision for this like enabling the development of sustainable world as the recognized global voice for the consulting industry industry and they are uh, published their books like you can see uh, in this picture uh, red book yellow books and silver books recognized uh, as forms of contract for infrastructure works and updates now let us uh, let us see detail in detail what is this red books yellow books and the, the silver books next slide yeah now this new they call the publication of the red books these uh, red books applicable for the contract condition uh, civil uh, use for the civil work designed by the employer and it is major contract it is a measurement contract and there is a contract manager referred to as the engineer so this red book normally we use for the uh, uh, use for the various uh, consultancy work like when you representing the uh, client on when you represent the client and you are taking decision on behalf of contract for the various contractor in that case uh, red book suggesting you the uh, various contract conditions and these are some general conditions next similarly they recommend the yellow book silver books and blue books so yellow books normally uh, they use for the design build uh, project and silver book they used to uh, intended uh, for turnkey projects and blue books uh, they normally use for the various dredging reclamation work designed by the employer next Uh, these are the gold book and Emberland books. Uh, these are the trendy and normally used for the turnkey infrastructure project, where the contractor also operate the project. Next, yeah. Now moving towards the project management trends. Now <clears throat> these are the, some facts of the project management uh, uh, con construction in the industry in all over the world. Now, fact number one, construction industry is one of the biggest industry in the world, around 30% of GDP and is not performing well. 1% of annual growth for the past two decades, which gives the only 1% of annual growth for the past two decades. Around 69.4 uh, billion of in global infrastructure investment would be needed through the 2035. You can imagine around 69.4 uh, trillion amounts of uh, global infrastructure projects are coming by, by the year of 2035. Now, another aspect, these are the, uh, these are the observation has been done by the PMI, Project Management Institute of USA. There's a scarcity of the skilled labor shortage what they are saying have become a major issue and retirement will train talent. Example, 41% of the US construction workforce is expired to retire by 2031. I think same condition has been applied to India also. Like uh, somewhere I read like around 60% of uh, manpower force is going to be retired by 2031, something like that. For uh, now, this is very good picture like for every 1 billion spent on the construction project around 127 million dollar is wasted because of 70 percent project delays uh, 73 percent over budget sometimes like scope script scope script means like, like a uh, additional scope uh, sometime client included in our scope 
so that is known as the post switch so so these are the fact finding so then uh, project miami institute of usa realized that you no know, uh, there is a trend like by means of the project management professional we can train the people uh, we can certify the people to deal with the with the project project management issue in the construction industry next now again these are the five reasons uh, of the failure projects one is the lack of training second is expectation expectation mismanagement they call the scope management scope mismanagement lack of leadership lack of ident identifying tracking requirement scope poor planning so nowadays like these trends in the project management pmp they call the pmp professional certification they give the trainings to this to to just overcome these five reasons for that next yeah last yeah so yeah i think we are limited in the time next uh, trend is electromechanical engineer trend in the electromechanical uh, industry in the public health industry next now i just want to give you brief about the electromechanical ict industry uh, you must be heard uh, most of the people in the in this uh, webinar heard about the smart city they just use this uh, smart intelligent network technologies uh, from the inst instrumentation and control, control industry and which it will uh, allowed us to transmit uh, various signals various uh, automatic devices uh, uh, to work on the proper monitor way uh, for the water and wastewater industry next apart from ict uh, there are a lot many trends uh, happening in the electromechanical world like one of the trend is like a selection of the multiple pump configuration like sometime like we just uh, manipulate the pumping configuration based on the requirement like like sometimes we use the pump in series for the high head. Normally high head, we use uh, uh, pump in series. Normally for the low head, for the uh, additional discharge, we need, uh, we use the parallel, uh, for parallel pumps, uh, pumps. So this type of uh, uh, trends, uh, and this is the limited trends. Uh, I would, because of time constraint, I would not uh, like to. Uh, I would not uh, able to uh, cover that trends here. Next, I think this is done. Thank you, and you are welcome for the question and answer, question and answer session. And yes, you sir. can note down my contacts here. If you have any uh, detailed question, you can uh, take your pen, you can write to me on this email ID. And these are the WhatsApp numbers. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. sir, shall we start the question answer? Yes, please. Okay, sir. Sir, uh, first question coming from the Mr. Abhishek Singh. Mm -hmm. Uh, in carbon credit uh, slide, we see one word that is plastic credit. So what is meant by that plastic credit? Plastic credit is just like a, you know, credit card and online transfer. So that is the plastic credit. Like uh, carbon credit, we never get uh, in terms of exchange of the cash. So. It's like a, uh, giving you credits on the on the some policies or transferring front with the plastic okay. money like that. Okay, okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, next question is coming from the Mr. Ayas Sheikh. 
Uh, automated waste management system is good for smart city. Uh, but can it require any specific surface area, any specific rule for that? Uh, any specific as such is not there. Specific rules are no, not there, but uh, there are some uh, stand, standards mentioned in the latest uh, solid waste management uh, uh, delivered by the CPHU manual. So if you want uh, that standard i can uh, i can publish uh, i can forward it that's uh, standard but as such uh, any such rules are not there uh, except you if you have the uh, capacity uh, to to execute that project under the basement and uh, capacity in terms of money fund if you have and then you can you can use that system Okay. Next question is coming from the uh, Professor Bangar sir. Uh, in geotechnical mm -hmm. investigation, we can change uh, check the various parameters like uh, liquid limit, plastic limit. Um, mm -hmm. uh, when we check this parameter, these parameters uh, have any specific fixed value. Uh, he mean to say uh, standard ah, standard standard uh, value right 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 yes yeah yeah some of the standard uh, characteristics are there for like for the suppose if I want to execute a pumping station or something like that there are some characteristics right now I don't have uh, that data but I can provide that is I don't remember the things <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But okay. I can extract extract that data and share with Mr. Uh, uh, Bangar sir. sir. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So here our question answer session is end up. Okay. And I personally thank you, sir. Uh, actually, sir, एक uh, मेरी तरफ से मैं आपको कहना चाहूँगी कि जो आज का सेशन था. कि hmm. बहुत अच्छा लगा एक्चुअली इंडियन टाइम के हिसाब से अभी 4:30 हो रहा है और आफ्टरनून सेशन था बट yes. जिस तरीके से आपने एक्सप्लेन किया बहुत सारे वीडियोस एंड इमेजेस तो लिटरली uh, बहुत ज्यादा इंटरेस्टिंग लगा दिस इट्स वंडरफुल सेशन सर नो गुड लाइक लाइक यू आर लाइक आई वुड आई वुड विश टू डिलीवर सच टाइप ऑफ presentation yes yes, yes. Uh, like i and i like you at the way of delivering <laughs> there are uh, many more uh, topics are coming like but it it needs some time like uh, right as right, you right. mentioned this is the http uh, uh, presentation so i would uh, i i personally feel no let us deliver this topic but other topics also like like uh, like there like design of the water supply system design of the sewage collection system okay uh, strong okay. water management system like that okay so yeah. we hope for the next for next year we can continue this topic <laughs> yes yes definitely <laughs> okay thank you sir um, and participants here we end up our day two second session Feedback form will be provided you on our WhatsApp group and your registered email ID. So join us tomorrow for day three and session one at 10:30 a.m. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thanks. Bye for now.